Welcome guys to another episode here at Virtue Hearing. My name is Christopher Medina. I am your host and I am your hearing care professional. Today we're going to be talking about what to look for when you're buying used hearing aids because nowadays I see a lot of people go to places like OfferUp, Facebook, uh, all those apps that let you sell stuff and people are starting to buy used hearing aids. You know, some, some people want to save a little bit of money because they are sometimes a big investment. But we're going to get into that in depth on what to look for when you buy hearing aids. But before we get into that, I just want to give you guys a special offer we have right now here at Virtual Hearing for the month of May. We are discounting all technology levels, all styles. When you buy a set of hearing aids, we're going to give you $2,000 off. And brand new hearing aids right now are ranging anywhere from four to seven thousand dollars. So right now you can get a discount of two thousand dollars when you buy a set, and you know it's, it's a good opportunity to go ahead and jump and make that investment. All right, guys. So, uh, you know, if you've had an experience or know anybody, please share with us. You know, post in comments. So, what do you want to look for when you buy used hearing aids, especially if you buy them online? stuff like that because like I said before a lot of people are doing that so number one do some research you know you want you want to know what's the difference between a hearing aid and a hearing aid a hearing amplifier sorry so if you look at these two models real quick one of these is a hearing aid and one of these is not but most people can't tell the difference don't know they just see a price that's cheaper and sometimes go with the cheaper things but um, you know, know the difference between again hearing aids and hearing amplifiers because a lot of people can confuse these. They're starting to sell them like at Walmart and sometimes at CVS, the hearing aid amplifiers. And uh, just a quick thing to know is you can only buy a hearing aid, a brand new hearing aid from a licensed dispenser in your state or or a licensed audiologist. So if a hearing aid dispenser or a licensed audiologist is not selling you the aid, it's probably not real. So you can't really buy a brand new hearing aid online. It has to be fitted by a specialist, a hearing aid dispenser, or a licensed audiologist. All right, guys. Number two, make sure that it's a well-known brand. You know, top brands like Starkey, Oticon, Unitron, there's Signia, Rexton, um, what else? Uh, resound and etc there's there's more brands but do your research you know you want to know that it's a real hearing aid when you buy it and you know want to know it's a well-known brand as well especially if you're looking like an offer up and stuff like that all right number three I don't recommend you buy custom hearing aids custom hearing aids are these they're specifically the ones that go inside your ear because they are molded to the previous patient's ear that means it's custom made to the previous patient's ear when you buy a standard product like this one you know this wire can be adjusted there's different tips you can even buy an ear, ear mold that attaches to the hearing aid so this is more convenient when it comes when it when it's um, when it comes down to being fitted it's more convenient now you can buy a custom mold but I'm telling you right now it's gonna cost you a couple hundred bucks to remold this shell and um, if the specialist is willing even willing to do it <laughs> um, just to give you an example it's to remold a, a hearing aid that's not fit to your ear is gonna cost you around six to eight hundred bucks just to do that part so you want to avoid that by buying a more standard product that can be fitted to basically anyone okay Number four, check, you know, you want to check these things right here. You want to check that the hearing aid turns on. You want to ask the person who's selling it to you if it has any repair and loss and damage warranty. Those things are important because if the hearing aid doesn't work or breaks down, uh, when you go see a hearing care professional that can actually repair the unit, it's going to cost you roughly around $600 to get about a one year repair warranty. Uh, when you when your hearing aid is out of warranty now if your hearing aid has warranty The manufacturer will cover the repair now sometimes depending on where you go your hearing care professional might charge you a little fee For example here at virtue hearing if you bring us a hearing aid that it that has warranty But you didn't buy it from us. We are just gonna charge you a shipping and processing fee of $65 
so you might want to call and get some prices wherever you go you know that's what we charge and uh, you know it's pretty fair because we have to pay for the overnight shipping and they ship it back and then we fit the patient with it all right uh, also you want to check what kind of batteries they use you want to know what batteries to buy is the hearing aid rechargeable or not just so that you know you get familiar with the product that you're buying and then you can also go on YouTube and look up the model the brand and they might have some videos we have a lot of videos on our YouTube channel so go ahead and subscribe to us you're probably seeing it there if not go ahead and subscribe uh, and five last but not least when you buy a set of used hearing aids you're still gonna have to go see your hearing care professional why because those hearing aids that you just bought are programmed for the previous patients hearing loss so you need to do your we need to do a fresh new hearing test on you on, your, on the patient the new patient that's gonna wear these hearing aids they need, we need a new hearing test once we know where the threshold is we were, are going to adjust the hearing aids that you bought to that patient's needs um, the hearing aids nowadays are all digital so they are programmable only with your hearing care professional because the software is not available for the public it's only for the hearing care professionals all right guys so if you guys have any questions on you know when you're looking for new hearing aid I mean used hearing aids go ahead post in comments you know we're always here to help we'll give you some advice we all we also sell used hearing aids here so if you don't want to buy something new we sometimes have uh, used units that you can get at a more affordable price. Used hearing aids usually go from like a thousand to three thousand um, dollars in, in that range. Okay, and last but not least, uh, again, the offer you know, if you want to get a new set of hearing aids, now's the time to do it. We're doing two thousand dollars off a set of brand new hearing aids. If you want any more information, call our office. The office number here is 323-530-0223. We're going to do a free hearing test consultation. And if you want to trial the aids before you even buy them, we're doing a 14-day risk-free trial. All right, guys. Thank you so much for supporting and watching the show. We'll catch you on the next video. Take care.